Hello everyone, it's me, Dilly Sims. Welcome back to my channel. Today is floor plan day, the day of the week where I pick a floor plan, usually off of Google, and I rebuild it in The Sims. So today's floor plan, I have deemed it, or branded it, either way, Privilege Starter Home, or P Privilege Starter, I believe. One or the other. The thumbnail says Privilege Starter. Probably home. I don't know. Whatever the thumbnail says, that is what it is called. Anyways, so I am created a character mentally for this build. I imagine that it is a very privileged child. And I'm saying child, but like young adult, obviously, because a young adult can afford a house. But I imagine that this person's parents have money. And they're off to college or something you know like they're independent now that's why they have a one bedroom house and their parents bought this little ugly house right and and they remodeled it for their child so that's the theme of the house it that's why the outside looks different to the inside because the interior this person has money they don't have to worry about it so they don't have to worry about you know like overspending so that's why the interior of the house looks very expensive and also almost childish like very young adult there is no hint of like family because this person is very alone Possibly. I mean, who knows? Maybe they sh have a boyfriend or girlfriend that they're seeing and they spend a couple of days a week here. I don't see... I didn't include any furniture that would say that one more than one person lives here. There's a double bed, but I mean, I have a double bed. A two-person fitting bed. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but that was my thought process when I built this house. So that's why the outside looks different to the inside. The inside is a lot more modern and chic because this person has money and why not spend it? And they have a very tasteful and youthful vibe about themselves, which I absolutely love. So do I have stories for you guys today? Of course I do. But wait, let me first off start off by saying, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing good? Good. That's what I like to hear. Um, I had jury duty today. Delightful, I know. It's like every person's dream. Actually, first, this is the first, second time in my life that I've had jury duty. But for some reason, this time around, I was telling people, oh, I have jury duty. And maybe it's because of, like, my parents. My parents have this, like, mindset of, oh, it's such a big inconvenience, and I don't want to go. So I'm kind of like that when it comes to jury duty. I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. I really hope I don't get chosen. So that was like my mentality. So I would tell people at like work and stuff, oh, I have jury duty, but I really hope I don't get called. And for some reason, I feel like this time, as opposed to like last time I had jury duty, people were like, what? I wish I was chosen. I always wish I'd been chosen because it looks like so much fun. And I'm like, what? I'm confused. Because last time I had jury duty, everyone was like in the same boat I was, where it was like, oh, I hope you get out of it. And here's some like tips that I saw on a YouTube video of how to get out of jury duty. And, and yeah, but this time I feel like every time I brought it up that I had jury duty, everyone was like, oh, I never get picked, but I really hope I do. Which, it, it seems like an experience. That sounds awful. But it seems like a fun one, maybe in a lifetime opportunity. But I'm saying once in a lifetime, very cautiously, because, for example, my father, bless his heart, he complains about jury duty every single time. But he also gets chosen for jury duty literally every single time, and he gets called in every year. I haven't been called in for a few years, but, you know, that's not on me, that's on the system. But he, every year, 
gets called in and then he has to take time off of work for a couple of days. And then Jerry Judy only pays like $15, so he's like angry. And so I, that's why when people say it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, I'm like, mm, I don't know. My dad's been called every year, so not really once in a lifetime to everybody. But I don't know, depending on the case, maybe it would be fun. Like the videos that they make you watch when you are waiting to possibly be chosen, they make jury duty look like so much fun and a privilege and hmm, something about that those videos makes me want to like participate in jury duty. It, it, I have a very complex relationship with jury duty. Jury duty, I'm sorry, that came out really quickly. But I have a very complex relationship with everything. Like. Let's see, what is a comp- Okay, baking. Here's a complex relationship that I have. Baking. I love baking. Cookies. Pies. You name it, I like baking. So I'll try it. <coughs> Sorry. But, I hate eating <laughs> sweets. So, love-hate relationship. What's another one? Uh... I was gonna say religion, but that's a topic that I'm not gonna cover here, at least today. Another ketchup, love ketchup, ketchup's delicious, do not like tomatoes. Well, actually, that's a lie. I started liking tomatoes recently. Yes. Okay, so maybe I don't have too many, like, complex relationships, or as many as I would claim, or like to claim, but whatever. So, after jury duty, I went to my favorite antique store in the whole wide world, and it's called Antique Mall. And I've talked about it before on this channel. It's the same uh, antique store where I purchased my Barbie Dream House. <laughs> and loving it, still in my closet, never touch it. I was like, I'm gonna fix her up or it, and I never did. I actually have somebody lined up to look at it tomorrow. and. They're going to repaint the outside, and this person's a great artist, so, yes, that's, he might, I might commission him to paint the outside of the box, to give it a wonderful, beautiful facelift, and make it pretty again. It needs some help, but I'm definitely the right person for the job. Here I am, being all, like, stuck up and stubborn. I'm still working on being a good person. I have tried really hard to accept compliments, and I'm trying really hard not to be a bitch. I'm trying really hard to be a good person. Because, yeah, it, I have a couple of videos, I think like two already dedicated to why I want to be a good person, but it's been sort of a struggle because like you don't realize like things that you do until like after you try to change it like at work I push my coworkers out of the way because they'll stand in my way and that sounds awful and like nobody's ever been like Dylan's so mean he pushes his coworkers literally no one's ever said that ever and then I did it the other day and I was like oh my gosh that's actually like mean I do this literally all the time and nobody stands up to me. Like the other day my coworker started talking to me and my coworker Claire was in the way. So I was like, move Claire, and I pushed her out of my way so I could like talk to the coworker that was talking to me. And then I was like, wait, that's mean. <laughs> and like I just do that stuff out of like trying to be comical and funny. And it works. It it works. Yeah, I'm gonna say it works. I, it does come off as very comical, it's very funny. If I was on TV, you would be like, whoa, I like that character. He's sassy and funny. So, yeah. But then I was like, that's mean. And normally, I would just do it and not think twice because that's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's a work in progress. I apologize to her. But it's, it's a work in progress. Another thing that I did wrong, okay, I'm just confessing all of my sins because I'm trying to think of, like, what to talk about to fill 
Oh wait, I was talking about my trip to the antique store. Let me talk about the antique store because I only have like a minute, two minutes. So I went to my favorite store, the antique store, the antique mall, and I love that place. And luckily, the courthouse is six minutes away from my, the antique store that I love so much. And the antique store is way out of my way. Like, it's a 30-ish minute drive. So it's not like I go there frequently, but every time I go, I buy something. Because A, I want them to stay in, in business. And B, I just like a lot of the stuff that they have. And I realized today that they're vendors that rent the space. I didn't know that. I just thought it was stuff that they accumulate because some of that stuff, I go back and I still see it. And I'm like, it's not selling, so... But yes. I was going through and I was looking at a whole bunch of stuff that I've looked at before and if you guys don't know this, I am a fan of Princess Diana. So I was going through and I was looking at like furniture and bookshelves and they of course put like crap, like lots of crap on bookshelves and I've looked at these bookshelves before and it's never like, I've never seen this, but it's a book. It is a book, a hard copy book of... Princess Diana's wedding and I was like oh I love this and it's just like a summary of the wedding and like the economic boom and all the like in the industry that boomed and created merchandise and stuff because of their wedding and I was like this is so fascinating and I love it and I love Princess Diana so I was like I'm gonna purchase it and then I literally said the gayest thing to myself, this would look so great on my coffee table in my future house as decoration. And I was like, whoa, Dylan, there has never been one moment in life where a straight man has ever said that about a hard copy book about Princess Diana. Ever. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to leave this part off here. Be yourself like me. That's, that's the takeaway for today. Be yourself like me. Um, let me know what you think of this build. If you have a floor plan that you want to see done, feel free to email me in the comment section below. Like, take that picture and email it to me. If you want to see anything else done, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. If you want to share anything with me, tag it in the gallery with the hashtag Dilly Sims. And remember, like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun YouTube things. And I will catch all of you guys next time. Bye, everybody.